Welcome to Trade Along. Today, we are focusing on the exciting world of Brent crude trading. We will cover everything from expected value, the right position size, entering the trade using a credit spread, managing stop losses, understanding the profit point, whether you are a beginner or an experienced trader, this guide will provide valuable insights to enhance your trading strategy. For beginners, we recommend risking a 0.5% of your total portfolio and no more than 50% of your total account. For more experienced traders, we recommend using up to 2% positions while risking up to 75% of your account. Trade along. Decide on your maximum position size by taking your account size and multiplying it by the maximum risk based on your experience level. If we make the assumption that we are looking to earn 30% per year and this option is being held for 16 days with a maximum risk of $5,000, we require an expected value of $95 based on this calculation. Trade along. Take the annual percent you require for the risk and multiply it by the previously calculated maximum risk, then multiply by the years to expiry or days to expiry divided by 252 business days. To get into the trade, we recommend a put credit spread. A put credit spread involves selling a put option at a higher strike price while simultaneously buying a put option at a lower strike price on the same underlying asset and expiration date. This strategy generates a net credit because the premium received from selling the higher strike put is greater than the premium paid for buying the lower strike put. The goal is for the price of the underlying asset to stay above the higher strike price, allowing both options to expire worthless and letting you keep the net credit as profit. If this Brent crude trade enters, we recommend a stop loss of 2.69%. To achieve the desired stop loss of 2.69%, we have decided to sell at 74 and buy at 71 to enter the position or get paid a premium for waiting. This put credit spread has a June 25th, 2024 expiry. And is calculated using one contract. And will earn a reward of $226, a risk of $22,774, and has a probability of success of a 0.97 based on backtesting. The expected value is therefore $135 for 16 days of holding, which is greater than our required expected value of $95. Trade along, calculate the risk and the reward from the trade, then use the probability to calculate the expected value for your trade. Size the trade based on your maximum risk and ensure the expected value is greater than the required expected value before moving forward. If the credit spread enters or the position is assigned, the stop loss is a critical component of our risk management strategy. For a trade like ours, placing the stop loss is about finding a balance, tight enough to minimize losses if the trend reverses, but also loose enough to ride out market volatility. This stop loss has been back-tested across the last 20 years and has been seen to give the most favorable expected value if this trade is assigned. For this trade, if assigned, we recommend a profit point of 30.58%. This trade has been analyzed from an expected value perspective initially as a credit spread, but with an assigned trade in mind. The final result is a trade where we look to earn premium from the option, but if it does get assigned, we are able to trade it as a standard trade at a favorable price. Thank you for watching. If you found this guide helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more trading insights. Happy trading! You could become our 10th subscriber. Please note this video is for educational purposes and is not financial advice.